Hey, it's Bethany with the Flack Fam, and today we came down to St. George, and we are in a rental house, or condo, I guess you would call it. It is the Red Rock Vacation Rentals, and we just wanted to show you guys it because it is a really cute place. This one specifically is called Beach House 83. This is right where you walk in. There's a cute little couch and a TV right here. So this would be your little family room. And um, I will show you outside. This is the front door. I will show you outside in the morning. We got here and it's kind of late, so it's dark. But you come in here and you have a nice big table, a really cute finish on the table and cute decorations they did a really nice job and the kitchen is a full-size kitchen it does have everything in here to cook oh i like these those are really cute it does have a full fridge ice and water and then a microwave stove oven and it has a Keurig with all the coffees you could want and then we did notice in the pantry as well that there was another coffee maker so if you're not into the Keurig you could also make this kind of coffee there is a vacuum in here looks like some extra chairs oh they did say they've got cornhole so there's the cornhole and they've got a kettle you could use a knife set toaster and then looks like you've got some oh so some some real cups and then some plastic cups Got so whatever you need to make some food here. We're really not planning on making anything in the kitchen anyway, so it doesn't matter to us, but just in case you were interested in staying here, I just wanted to show you what there was. There is a dishwasher as well. So here's looking at it from the other side. And right to the side here is a half bath. You've got your sink, toilet, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But if you go down here, so there's your entryway. There is a bedroom right here. So it looks like it is a queen bed. Actually, no, this is a king, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So these are all king beds, um, except for there are some bunk beds all the way upstairs, um, but they do have flat screen LG TVs. This one is right out to the front, which you can't see right now, but is actually just lawn out there. And then there's a, another condo area across there. So attached to this bedroom, is a closet you've got all your pool towels and it looks like some normal towels and some sheets some extra blankets and then and here you've got two sinks and a shower you've got a rain head shower oh and i wasn't sure about this but they actually did leave us little shampoo and conditioner and soap i didn't think that we would have any of that here, but they do have it here. And well, it looks like you do have also, I don't know that I have seen the actual iron, but here's the ironing board. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. We're gonna head upstairs. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We'll do this fast. Everybody's hungry and waiting for me. And this door, this closet, you've got a washer and dryer and you are welcome to use those. 
and come down the hall a little bit further. Um, so if I turn this way, there's more, there's a third level. And then if you turn to the right, here is another king bed where you've got a TV. And then this does go out to a small patio. And again, we'll have to show you in the morning. Maybe we can go out there. And then it does have a closet. So Olivia's already stuck her stuff in here. I guess this is, she's claimed this room. Okay, and then there is another room here. We thought this one was maybe the master, but we're not sure if maybe the one downstairs is the master, but another king bed. So this is number three king bed. Maybe I can show you outside. Let's see. So both of these bedrooms go, both go out to the outside. Oh yeah, you can see it. But it's just got a couple chairs out here. And then you look out, basically there is grass between there's basically her entrance. There's grass and then there is another building across the way. And there is a pool, actually walking distance, really close. It looks like there's also a hot tub because I can see some steam coming off of that. It's only like 39 degrees right now. So it's a little chilly. Let's go see the rest of this. So oh, this one does have a a large bathroom attached to it, another two sinks, and it does have a bathtub shower combo. So another rain shower, it looks like they're all the same rain shower. And oh, this one, walk-in closet. I think I'm gonna call this the master bedroom. Um, they do have, it looks like extra sheets and blankets, that's really nice. Oh, and here is the iron and ironing board. So there's one downstairs and upstairs and it looks like a fan. So whatever's going on, hot, cold, they got you taken care of. Okay, then there is this bathroom for the other bedroom on this same level. So there is one sink here and toilet and a stand-in just single shower. Okay, let's go upstairs. This is the third level. And there it is. So you've got two bunks and a large wraparound couch. And there is a TV in here. So we were teasing. We really could have had Olivia's full soccer team stay here with us. And then out on this area. There's another seating area out here. They have a fire pit and yeah, I mean, this is, this is a large area. In fact, here, let's, again, I'll come out here during the day too, but let's just look out here. You're pretty high up. There's St. George at night. You can see some stars. There is a DVD player too in the very top room. And we just found out that this is a bed as well as a couch. Well, this is our condo at Red Rock Vacation Rentals. It does sleep 12 people. I think you could probably even fit a few more than that with this couch here, but it looks really cute. We're excited to stay here. It'll be a really nice place to just hang out. And um, like we said, we can invite Olivia's soccer team back here and they can have some fun as well. We'll maybe get out the cornhole if it's warm enough. They actually had some games downstairs too that we could play. So I will um, show you in the morning the outside so you can actually see what it's looking like. Um, the parking is a little further away. If you have a lot of luggage, that is a little bit of a pain to walk that far. We didn't have that much. We're just staying for the weekend, so it was okay. But um, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Here we are out on our top balcony. And now during the day, you can see, we found out that that 
building that was glowing pink is called the paparazzi and it is jewelry that is five dollars all of the jewelry sets so if you wanted to look up paparazzi on the internet that's where its uh, actual location is st george utah but anyway here is the condos across from us and here's our little grassy knoll and there's the pool and here during the day is this third level area with chairs and a table and a fire pit with some chairs over there. And then here is the second floor, a little balcony, a couple chairs, you can look out. It's a nice little area. Okay, so we finally made it to the main area of where the pool is and where there is supposed to be this large water area where you can do a whole bunch of rentals. There are bikes that you can rent and there are golf carts that you can rent. And in fact, we're quite a ways. We're probably, I guess it's not a horrible amount. We're probably what, you think two blocks away? Here. We, could we, we probably could have walked but anyway we're gonna walk through here and kind of see what this looks like so we just walked through the pool area and there's a lot of people in there because that is actually heated and it is probably about 40 degrees out here but the pool is heated to about 85 but there is this beach area over here and this is the area where I was telling you about that you can order a well, you can rent a whole bunch of things, paddle boards, but this is not heated and you can tell because nobody is in it. <laughs> and there's a lot of construction just right to the side of this. This place is definitely still not done, but it would be nice to have that water view from over there on those houses. So I'm sure there's a lot of people that'll buy on this other side. There's some of the things that you can rent. So they've got kayaks, paddle boards, and Olivia, you just stuck your hand in there. How did it feel? It actually felt good. <laughs> it was cold. It was cold. I'll give you that. But what did you say that it could have been? Like an ice bath. Yeah. So it's pretty it's also, cold. It's 46 degrees right now. It so. is. It's chilly. So it makes sense. So yeah, when it's warm, this will feel great. I was just telling Olivia that I definitely would sit in one of these chairs if it was 80, 90 degrees. This would be fantastic. Looks like you can even have an umbrella here. You could have some shade, have some sun when you want, have this beautiful view. Oh, there's a volleyball court over there on the beach. So yeah, there's lots of fun things to do here. So by the pool, they do have some cabanas that are for rent. Otherwise, they really do have plenty of seating around. And in fact, it even looks like up top here, they have seating around. Yep, Olivia just asked me if I was gonna record it. Here I am recording. <laughs> so this is the women's locker room. Nobody's in here, so I feel comfortable recording. There are lockers for you. There are changing rooms here. Yeah, that one's a little nicer with the bench. And then here's, there's four showers here as well. And then restrooms. It's a decent size, not huge, but decent size. There you go. You see, I'm wearing a coat, not swimming. It's too cold. <laughs> so this is the upstairs and we were just saying, this is exactly where we would hang out. So you can look out onto either the pool or the area that we were just at. Yeah, that's beautiful. And again, there's just so many people in the pool that I'm not gonna record that. But you can see over here, just lots of construction. They're having the parade of homes this weekend and there's a few of these homes that are in the parade of homes. So if you're looking for a place in St. George, this place looks like will accommodate a lot of people. 